Good morning, Sister Grove. Good morning. I'm reading from Jeremiah the 29th chapter, verse 11. Okay. And I'm reading from the King James uh, Version. For I know the thoughts mm -hmm. that I think toward you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, mm -mm. to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Verse 13, and ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. May God add a blessing to the word on today. Amen. Lord, Father, we thank you, Father, for this opportunity again to stand before you. Ask your Father to do a special work for Cedar Grove, Father. We ask your Father, you know how to bring things into fruition. Ask your Father to please, Father, again, protect this building. Yes, Lord. Protect this building. Yes, Keep your yes. hands on this building, Father. Mm -hmm. This is your house, Father. Yes, Lord. Ask your Father. We ask your Father that that same blood that you shed on the cross, Father. I ask you, Father, to cover this building with your blood, Father. Yes, yes. Keep that fence of protection around this yeah, building, Father. Mm -hmm. ask you, Father, continue, Father, for keeping, Father, any vandalism yes. or any such thing, Father. Lord, Father, we ask you now, Father, to bless our mother Wilson, Father. Yes, Give her peace, Father. Yes. Give her peace, Lord. We yes. ask you, Father, during the night, Father, Yes. Give her a beautiful and sweet sleep, Father, during the night, yes. Father. Ask the Father to continue, Father, to comfort her, Father. Yeah, Father, when she can't sleep, Father, ask the Father, yes. you, Father, give her the scriptures, Father, to read, Father, for comfort. Yes. Ask the yes. Father to continue, Father, to bless the service on Sunday, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes. Each Sunday, Father, yes. whoever bring your word, Father, ask the Father, that it be edifying to our souls and our bodies, Father. Yes, Lord. That we may carry out, Father, your word, Father, throughout the week. Hallelujah. As Father, let our lights continue to shine, Father. Yes. Wherever we may go, Father. Yes, Lord. That we may be a witness, Father, to whoever is lost. Yes. And is looking for soul. I'm looking for salvation. Yes. As yes. Father, to look over, Father, the ones who are on the streets. Yes. And have yes. nowhere to go. Hallelujah. As Father, yes. you be their covering, Father. Yes, Lord. Protect them, Father. Yes. Father, we ask Father for the ones who are lost, Father, and yes. don't have a mind to want to come back to church. Hallelujah. Ask Father, bring them back, Father. Yes. And bring them back with a with a mind to want to work as never before, Father. Yes, Lord. This yes. is your house, Father. Yes, Lord. This is your house, Father. Mm. And Father, we know, Father, that you want your house to flourish. Yes. Yes. Ask your Father, let's see the role, Father, be a blessing in the community, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes. Please, Lord. Hallelujah. You know how to restore. Yes. And we're counting on you, Father. However you do it, Father. Yes, 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 Lord. However you do it. Yes. There's a saying, any way you bless me, yes, Lord. I'll be satisfied. Hallelujah. Father, yes. any way you bless me to grow, Father, yes. we will be satisfied. Mm. As long as you get the girl. Yes, Lord. And again, Father, we ask you, Father, to you, Father, bless all of us that's, that are here, Father. Yes. Father, we thank you, Father, for traveling mercies, how you allow us to arrive here safely with any hurt, harm, or danger. Yes. yes. And ask you, Father, when we leave this place, bless us to arrive home safely. Yes. And all the ones, Father, who are listening and watching the service you. online, Hallelujah. be a special blessing to them, Father. Yes, Lord. Please, bless yes. the offering on today, Lord. Yes. Bless the offering. Yes. Lord. Bless everyone that, 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 that all the ones that are going to give and all the ones who are not able to give, yes. Father, yes. bless them that in the next offer they'll be able to give. <coughs> bless the little ones that are here in the yes. service on today, Father. Yes. And all the things, bless your name. Amen. 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 Thank you. 
here. We just have to be patient. In the name of Jesus.
came and stood over you. Consequently, it took you about 10 minutes to get up and to get moving. Amen. Then as you began to move, you were headed to the bathroom and you tried to flip on the light. Amen. And the light wouldn't come on. Amen. The bulb had blown out. Yes. It was still dark mm -hmm. as the sun has not risen. Yes. Then you finally got rectified and stepped into the shower. The water was cold and finally became somewhat lukewarm. Yes, yes. You love hot showers. Yes. You love, we love hot showers. <laughs> you went to take your shower in the condition that it presented itself. Yes. After drying off uh, from the shower, you began to walk back towards the bedroom and you, fl uh, uh, you slipped and failed. Hallelujah. <laughs> you were able to get back up with no injuries. Yes. At that point, you had to become totally disgusted. Yes, yes. And wanted to start your day all over again. Mm. Where was your trust in God? Hallelujah, hallelujah. I, I know I was a few times I got up, and you have your thoughts in your mind, in your head, what you're going to do for that day, you have to work. And because of the plans, you, you feel that, well, I got the clothes laid out, this house on. Most likely it never goes the way you plan. Amen, amen. And we forget that God is in control. Hallelujah, yes, hallelujah. All right, uh, I lost my spot. Yes. Did you stop for one minute to realize that even though it was difficult for you to get out of bed, yes. you were finally able to get up and start moving. Yes. Someone else had to be lifted out of the bed. Yes, Lord. When the light bulb wouldn't come on and you had to replace it, yes. did you stop and think that someone's power was turned off yesterday? Yes, yes. Therefore, flipping the switch the next morning and changing the bulb was none of all. Yes. The bug was not going to rectify that, that individual situation immediately. Yes. Did you stop to realize that even though that the water in the shower was not the temperature which you were accustomed, someone had to bathe in an unsanitary condition. Amen, amen. When you failed and got up with no injury, did you know that someone slipped and failed that morning and had to be rushed to the nearest emergency room. Yes, yes. For a broken bone. Mm. Therefore, stop complaining and see your blessings for what they are worth. Yes. The following scriptures that I'm about to give you mm. demonstrates how saints, Christians, you know, uh, you know, some like to say saints. I'll say Christians. Amen. Uh, should be thankful that we are blessed people. Jesus paid it all for us when he died that death of slaughter on the cross. Yes. However, it is the flesh in us that causes us to complain and overlook our blessings. Amen. Amen. The first scripture is first Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, verse 18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one is Philippians, the fourth chapter, verses 11 through 12. Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abide. Yes. In any and every situation, I have learned the secret of facing plenty yes. and hunger, abundance and need. Hallelujah. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for mm -hmm. the good. For those who are called according to his purpose. Numbers. 
the 11th chapter, verse 1, states, And the people complained in the hearing of the Lord about their misfortunes. Yes. And when the Lord heard, when the Lord heard it, his anger was kindled. Yes. And the fire of the Lord burned among them and consumed some outlay parts of the camp. The next time that your day goes away, and you allow the devil to, to thrust you in the mood of complaining, complaining, and overlook the blessing in, in your misfortunes. Focus on this illustration. While I was uh, thinking about, like I said, thinking about this song, I Won't Complain, I was trying to uh, look up reasons why people complain. I, I ran across this illustration. And the, the, the illustration is, is called Blessings in Disguise. Amen. And it's Amen. a conversation between, in the, in, the, in the illustration it says between God and me. Yes. Yes. Me. God. Can I ask you a question? God. Yes. Sure. Me. Promise you won't get mad. Yes. God, I promise. Me. Yes. Why did you let so much stuff happen to me today? God, what do you mean? Yes. God. No, excuse me. Me. Well, I woke up late. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I woke up late. God, yes. Me. My car took forever to start. Yes. God. <laughs> okay. Me. At lunch, they made my sandwich wrong. <laughs> and I had to wait. Yes. Yes. God. Hmm. Me. On the way home, my phone went dead just as I was, just as I picked up a call. Amen. God. All right. <laughs> Me. And top it off, when I got home, I just wanted to soak my feet in my new foot massager and relax. Amen. But it wouldn't work. Nothing went right today. <laughs> why did you, why did you allow that to happen? Mm. God, let me see. The deaf angel was at your bed this morning. Yes. I had to send one of my angels to battle him for your life. Yes. I let you sleep through that. I didn't let your car start because there was a drunk driver on the on, on your route that would have hit you yes. if you were on the road. Hallelujah. The first person who made your sandwich today was sick. Mm. And I didn't want you to catch what they had. <laughs> I knew you couldn't afford to miss work. Your phone went dead because the person who was calling you was going to give you false witnesses, false witness about what, what you said on that call. Therefore, I didn't even let you talk to that person so that you would, so that you would be covered. Yes. Oh, and that foot massager, it had a shortage. Mm. And that was going to throw out all the power in your house tonight. Yes, yes. I didn't think that you wanted to be in the dark. Me. I am so sorry. Amen. God. <laughs> God. Don't be sorry. Just learn to trust me. Yes, yes. In all things. Mm. The good, the bad. Mm. Me. Mm. I will trust you. God. And don't doubt that my plan for your day mm. is always better than your plan. Yes. Me. I won't, God. And let me just tell you, God, I thank you for everything today. Amen. God, you're welcome, child. It was just another day being your God, mm. and I love looking after my children. Amen. Have a wonderful and blessed week, and never leave home without me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I was sitting there thinking when I saw that, I said, 
how we sit there find any little thing to complain and we don't look at the little bitty small thing that God has done. Right. I'm going to use this little thing that I, I said yesterday and I'm going to close with this. Steve Harvey, I, I listen to Steve Harvey a lot. Amen. And I listen to a lot of uh, um, you know, sports stations and things like that. Um, it's, it's this uh, NFL player. He has, he has a little talk, a little podcast. It's called Club Shay Shay. <laughs> he has a lot of uh, you know, different people on there doing, doing the interviews. And I saw one of the people that Deacon sent me one of uh, Steve Harvey. Amen. Steve Harvey was talking about all the things that God, God has blessed him with. And he said, I was out of the country trying to have this, you know, this, this little uh, this business deal to go through. And all the whole time I was there, nothing was going right. Amen. And a lot of us have had days like that to where we think things should be going a certain way, but for some reason nothing is going right. Mm -hmm. And he said, I he said I, I did everything that I could Amen. to make the situation get better, but it didn't get better. He said, so I prayed. Amen. And listen to Steve Harvey in the morning. His his main focus, and even on the game shows, whatever, he's always uh, uh, talking about God, yes. giving God the recognition, giving Him the praise. Yes. And he said, I went home to where wherever he was standing at, out of the country. He said, I went to my room and I prayed. God told me to go home. Amen. I said, go home. I, you know, I haven't finished this deal. He said, go home. He said, and he went home. And he kept trying to ponder his mind. Why you tell me to go home? I'm trying to complete this deal. And you tell me to go home? He said, I went home and I, and I sat there and I'm looking around and God showed me all the things that he had given me. Amen. All the things he had done for me. Mm -hmm. And he told me, thank me for what you already, for what I already done. Yes, yes. He said, I was looking around and I said, I got a huge lake where I can just go up, out in my backyard and just go fishing. I got several cars. I got a big, huge house, several rooms. Yes. And he said, my children are blessed. Mm -hmm. My wife is blessed. Yes, yes, he said, yes. everything that I touch mm -hmm. turns to gold. Amen. Now all of a sudden I'm stuck. Uh -huh. And he said, God told, told him, Thank me for everything I've already done. Yes, yes. Every day. Yes. See, what we do, we thank God for the things that he did for us. Like said, physically, he woke me up this morning. Yes, yes. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. And just so so happened, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm looking that God will bless me with, with my own home. Mm -hmm. And I get the same thing as I, I get my home this year or something like that or whatever. And... Most people, they get excited. Yes. Lord, I thank you. I got my house and whatever. And then we start putting things in this proper place in the home. And then we forget okay. that God has blessed us. Okay. We totally forget. We just say, okay, hey, he blessed us with this house. Oh, thank God. We get excited. Then all of a sudden, within several months, mm -hmm. we forget about thanking him yeah. for the house. Hallelujah. So he said, God will tell me every day, Thank you for everything that I've done. Hmm. <coughs> I said, that's one of the things that I don't do. I don't thank God for everything He has done. Amen. He has blessed Amen. me with better health. I'm not in the in the best of health that I want to be, but I'm much better than I was yesterday or last week. Amen. So I should be thanking God. Lord, I thank you for health and strength. Yes, yes. I don't have the best vehicle that I want. The I'm driving now is my wife's vehicle. I'm still waiting for me to get my, my own vehicle from the uh, accident that I was in. Yes. But even though it's my wife's vehicle, what I thank you for just transportation. Amen. I was going to tell the mother today, my father-in-law, he's not here because one day he was driving and he said he looked at, he looked at the rear view mirror. All he saw was black smoke. And he said that, he said, he was sitting there like, now, who got all this black smoke? He said, because it is mine, it wasn't his car. And he said, kept driving. You know how you drive so far and you look? And while you're driving, the smoke is behind you. Yeah. When you stop at the light, it's all around you. He said, I kept saying, where the smoke coming from? 
He said, when I started, I said, oh, it's my car. Amen. He said, I got home and I tried to change it. You know, like I told you all, people look at, go to Google for everything. He said, yeah. I went to Google, and he said, I got a blown head gasket. He said, I said, well, the car is gone. <laughs> but it, even him, he said, but I thank God that he allowed me to, to have this car. And I'm, I'm able to get on the bus. Yes. I'm able to get, you know, check your Uber. Yeah. But a lot of us will take that. Cause I, when my car broke down, I gotta catch the bus. And we start complaining. Yes. But there are some people can't even walk. Amen, amen. You know, but <coughs> in everything, <coughs> give thanks. Yeah. I don't care what he did for you. Some people have to drive a distance to get to church. Yeah. I, I, it's, it's, it's a few of the saints from Cornerstone live in Lancaster. Uh, they, they, some of them live out in a, 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 in a, a Riverside area. They, they live pretty far. Amen. And I, t and I, I said, you know what? I need to start thanking God that God gave them travel mercies. Amen. Amen. Every time they come to church. Mm -hmm. And then, Lord, we have this thing to where my wife has it to where, you know, when they have this group text. So anytime something happens with the church or the saints, you know, they start doing this little group text. And everybody's getting information. Mm -hmm. So I one day I was sitting at the house, I said, phone, is this constantly going off? <laughs> and I looked at my phone. My nephew made it home. Him and his wife made it home. Amen. And everybody was saying, thank God. Mm -hmm. Thank God. To God be the glory. Yeah. And, I, and when I first thought, I said, man, I'm tired of all these texts. My phone mm -hmm. is constantly going off. But God showed me, they're thanking me that, that the, the, uh, uh, the saints made it home safe. Yes, yes. So even though we made I thought it looked like something minor. Mm -hmm. God's still blessed. And one of the young men, I was going to pick up my, my cousin down in uh, Lake Elsinore yesterday. And when I first started doing it, when I first started two years ago, <laughs> you know what I say? I was excited because I didn't see him in a long time. So when I got up to drive, I said, oh man, I'm going to pick up my cousin. I ain't seen him in a long time, whatever. You know, I'm trying to do whatever I can to motivate him because he had to he had to stroke or whatever. And now <laughs> making that drive is is hard. Amen. And I'm like, man. So he called me the other night. Hey man, cousin, you gonna pick me up? I said, nah, I ain't picking up today, man. I'm tired. He said, oh man, I want to come to church. I said, well, I'm sorry, I can't do it this way. And my wife walked to my she said, Kim. <laughs> Remember, you started amen, amen. picking him up. <laughs> he wasn't coming at all. You you helped motivate him to want to get up and come to church. Amen. <laughs> now, God is the us with transportation where we can go pick him up. Mm -hmm. And if I like, watch him talking, I kept saying in my head, mm -hmm. he keeps saying we. <laughs> but I'm the one making that, making that drive. <laughs> you know, every, every weekend. But I thought, I said, that here, I've been asking God for years, Lord, change my way of thinking, yes. change my heart. I, 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 be honest, I had a stony heart. Mm. I, I didn't care about people, I cared about myself, I cared about working, making money. Yes. And supplies for my family. Go home, relax, then the same routine over and over. But then later on, I saw that I didn't have no joy behind that. You know, because you know, you see people with all this money, whatever, and in our mind, they're happy. <laughs> You'd be surprised, a lot of them are not happy. Amen. They're trying to find ways to be happy. Yeah. And some of them are spending that money to be happy. Yes. They find all kinds of ways to complain. Prime example, some of them know sports. John Moran. Got all this money, but it's like you, you're still trying to find happiness and peace. But you're going about the wrong way. Yes. God has to be involved in every single thing that we're doing. Every single thing. He wants the glory and wants the praise. Amen. So I got to the church, I said, we need to stop complaining. Amen. And start thinking about everything that he he's, he has done. Uh, yes. What he's going to do. Hallelujah. The doors he has opened. Yes. The doors he's closed. Mm. This week, we went to go meet my father-in-law with women at a job. He's a plumber, 
and he does every little handyman stuff, whatever else. I'm a painter, and I do all the little handyman stuff. So he decided, because his car messed up, you know, I told my wife, I said, your dad didn't do it. He told me, hey, a pastor, I want to get this job. Won't you go with me? And I said, basically, he just need a ride. I said, I'm going to take it. I said, you think he slid. But going there, I said, again, God bless me with transportation to be. That's why I told God, bless us with transportation so we can be a blessing to the saints. Amen. And we say these things, but when flesh gets tired, yes. <laughs> we forget about what we say. Yeah, but God brought back to my mind and says, you asked for this transportation to be a blessing. Yeah. So we went over at the job, and someone get to the to the house. Pop says, "Oh no, I can't do this." <laughs> so I'm look, I'm gonna get this job to you. And I said, "Well, Pop, no, nah, this is too old. This house is rad." He was just going in. I said, "Well, Pop, we ain't talking to the people yet." And in my head, again, I'm thinking about dollars. I'm like, "Wait, wait, no." You don't understand. I got too many, too many jobs now. I said, well, Pop, you don't understand. <laughs> it looks bad, but we, we don't know what God has in store for us. Amen. Oh, no, this ain't going to work. <laughs> and we waited. The, the, the lady, the manager called us, well, they said they were in traffic. Pop, see, there you go. See, they run the ladies right there as a sign. And there ain't going to be no blessing. I said, Pop, relax. <laughs> nice. You know, it's, it's going to And then he looked at me and said, now, why you tell me to relax? You see the building, you see how it's a lot of work. After about 45 minutes of waiting, Mercedes pulls up. And he looks, he says, oh, oh, they got Mercedes. You know, now he's trying to judge the car. Oh, they got Mercedes. And it was a black couple. And when they got in the car, the lady said, I'm 89 years old, and my husband is 92. Hallelujah. And the way she was walking, you could tell she was up in age, because uh -huh. she, she made mention about the gout. But the husband, 92, was walking faster than me and Pop. <laughs> and he, you know, he was moving, and but he kept, and he said, well, you know, this got to be done, honey, so and so and so. And she said, well, and me and Pop kept looking, well, why are you talking to her? He said, this is our property, but you know the rule. He looked at Pop, you definitely know the rule. Happy wife, happy life. So I just let her, you know, feel that she. <laughs> but they got to talking about what had to be done at the house, and they tell the pop, you know, the plumbing. This is what's going on, and it's coming through this, uh, the top floor, and you got to do this. He said, okay, oh, okay. And he further he said, well, I used to do all this, but I can't do all this now. You know, I don't want to do this. Um, in my head, I'm like, that's money. You don't see the blessing in behind this. Mm -hmm. So, the, so the, the lady said, well, we got several properties. And he said, okay, okay. So I'm just following up, you know, pops around. And so, the, so the, the, the lady said, well, that's your son? He said, well, that's my son-in-law. So they said, what's your name? I said, West. She said, oh, you got the same initial. I said, yeah, yeah, West, Wallace, yeah, okay. Well, what do you do? I said, well, I'm a painter. And the husband said, painter? Voila! I'm like, voila. He said, all oh, this is going to be painted. Inside and out. I'm like, oh, no, in my head, thank God. That's work. That's money. Amen. And the father's like, well, that's a lot of work. I'm like, you speak for yourself. <laughs> you speak. I see the blessing in this. And after about 20 minutes, they took us up to all the, all the apartment complex, all the units, and they said, well, if you want the job, you can have the job. I think I'll take the plumbing job. So we're going out downstairs, and the, the, the old man said, well, you know, this got to be fixed, and this got to be fixed. And I thought, I said, I grew up hating pain. A lot of my cousins, we were taught at about the age of seven years old to paint. And I kept saying, when I get 18, I'm going to do something else. I like dealing with finances. I worked at Wells Fargo for years. I like dealing with money. I like dealing with corporate stuff. And God bless me where I was dealing with corporate stuff, but because I didn't obey it, He got me back down on my feet. Amen. So I found myself back doing something that I hated. Now I love it because it's bringing income. Amen. So Amen. I'm sitting there like, wow, Lord. 
you are so marvelous. Mm. You make ways out of no way, mm. even though I didn't want to do this. Now you have to where this is my livelihood. Amen. So we, we leave it out, and then he runs back and says, hey, wait, wait a minute. Wallace West, wait, wait, wait. And Bob said, oh, Lord, what is it now? <laughs> you know, I said, Father, relax. You got the job. You know, we got it. He said, well, by the way, since you're too busy today, I got another property in Inglewood that, you know, needs to work over there, this and that. So if you, once you get free from the other job, you kind of can do that. So I can't do it today. I can probably do it Monday. And now he said, you see how God blessed that fast? You know, <laughs> now, no matter what, I got, we got money coming in every week. Oh, Pastor, God has blessed us. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> so we're in the car planning on how we're going to do these jobs. Now, mind you, he was complaining in the beginning. Amen. It just, it looks bad. Uh -huh. Some things, it looks bad. You know, you know how they just they say that, they say that some people's trash mm. is other people's treasure or if you stop and just look and let God do his work, Amen. you'll Amen. see the diamonds and all this. Because diamonds don't just sit and just appear. Diamonds come through a lot of dirt. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to sit there and dig it, you got to scrape it and all that type of stuff. Now, I take him home. Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, he's planning for this, for this job Monday. Five minutes later, he called me and said, Pastor, guess what? The same people called him, I got an emergency, I got a tenant in, a, in another building that don't have no hot water. And I need you to fix that. I don't have no car. That's what he was saying, I ain't got no car, so I'm going to get out of this. And remember, 89 and 92, <laughs> well, we're going to pick you up. <laughs> so they picked him up, took him to the job, showed him, and he was like, well, you know, I... I I, I can try to fix it. He couldn't fix it. He said, well, I, I need other tools, so I have to come back Monday, me and my son. So he tells me, yeah, you know, they took me to the job, brought me back home, whatever. So instead of doing that job, we're going to do this other job. I said, now you see how God blessed you to where it was just one job. Now you got three jobs. He tells me yesterday, the lady calls and said, they had several properties. And they want him to run and manage it. And be the maintenance guy. Amen. I said, now you said that complaint when we first got there. I said, and, he, and then after service, he said, Pastor, your message, was that on me? <laughs> so I, was complaining. I said, I had a message a couple weeks ago when your daughter son is on a Sunday song. He said, well, you know what? God showed me. I didn't sit there and stop complaining. Amen. He said, even at my old age, yeah, you know, I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. But if we would just sit there and just Trust God. Amen. Trust Him. Some things seem like it's not going to work. It's, mm -hmm. it's taking too long. And one of the things that I used to do, my dad, pastor, he's like, well, son, you know, just trust God. Mm -hmm. And the flesh don't like to wait. Amen. <laughs> they got this thing where they're saying now, the young people now, that this, this microwave age uh, uh, mm -hmm. generation, you know, sometimes you my dad used to always say, son, uh, I want this done like yesterday. I said, dad, <laughs> yeah, so what he said, what he said, I want it done right now. Amen. And I felt for it for a while, for years, and I thought, I said, hey, Pop, you said you want it done like yesterday? I said, but if I do it right now, I don't have the tools, I don't have certain things, and it won't get done in the proper way. So why not just sit there and say, son, I want this done. And then just wait until I can, can't get it done the proper way. Right. He's right. like, I never thought of it that way. I said, you, you, you put a lot of pressure on people. Yeah. And sometimes do. God, he fixes the situation right away. Yeah. Sometimes he, he may do it the next day. Sometimes he takes years. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, our faith and trust should be that I know mm -hmm. that he's in control. Amen. Amen. And with all that's going on here with Cedar Grove, you know, somebody uh, just going down, going down. It ain't going down. Amen, amen. Everybody's coming in and saying he's weeding out and he's doing this, whatever. I don't know what God is doing, amen. but I know that he's in control. Hallelujah. And I know he's not going to let his house yes. fall. Amen. amen. Let us continue amen. to trust God. Mm -hmm. Let us start. You know, it may, it may be hard. 
Yeah. One thing I, I know is that you, you have to practice. If you, you know, you have to say you got good habits, you got bad habits. Yes. One of the bad habits is we complain too much. Amen. So what Amen. we need to do, start doing now, is try to turn that complaining into praising. Yes. Thanking yes. Him. Hey. Even though we don't have it, you mm -hmm. know we don't see no way. Just start thanking God for what He's going to do. Yes. The Scripture says we don't have because we don't what Amen. we don't ask. Amen. So let us start asking Amen. and start trusting that He's going to make a way yes. out of no way. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Yes. Hallelujah.